called Four Fundamentals of Flight. Uh -huh. Level flight, turns, climbs, and descents. Those are the four things that we do. Okay. All flying is some combination of those four things. All right, airspeed's alive. Engine okay. gauges are all in the green. This is yellow, but that's normal for this plane. Tower 5910, Charlie. Can I start pulling back towards you? 22. Pull back towards you a little more. Hold what you got. Two nine right. Just for hold that. Left. Just hold down right where it's for John Wayne. Oh, a little sorry, more. Right down wind departure there for we go. John Wayne Airport. Awesome. Good. So the nine lane pop of base. Just look outside. The right nose is the horizon. Right now. Base the nose is covering the horizon. Right, 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 right. right. You can't even see it. That's normal. Okay. I don't want you looking too much at the instruments at all. Just keep your eyes outside. Try to keep the wings level. Take off to nine right with the with the horizon. Torrance, our banner tow, 3193 Victor, Manhattan, tier, requesting so transition. So, wings are going to the, the left, there you air, go. Basically. Keep the wings level just by making left and right corrections on the other. Okay. It'll be bumpy just for about another so one minute, and then it'll smooth out. Traffic okay. just uh, north of your position, 300 south. Bring up your left, and pull back a little well. bit more on the yoke. Pull towards you a little bit, there you go. Oh, was that for a 3193 Victor? For 93 Victor, there's traffic just north of you, uh, below you at 300. Oh. Alright, Roger, I'll keep an eye out for it. I think it looks it like it should be cutting through, LA, right? Uh, this way. You okay. won't be able to see it because the nose is blocking it. That's Pop totally normal. Two following says on a mile and a half right base to final now. There we go. Zero Lima popping. Bring that nose up just a bit more on my point slightly back. back. There you go. Spend down when you come up here from my base and I think off Cool. See how high the nose is here? Bring that nose down a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to make just small movements okay, to keep the nose right here. It's like driving a car staying in the center of the lane. Just small movements. I've got the 683 Hotel Tower. Just make left traffic for runway 29 to left. The first planes didn't have instruments, right? Yeah. The pilots looked outside and they, and they flew by looking outside. I want you to be able to tell that we're level by looking outside. Then be able to look back in here and say, oh, yep, we're definitely level, because my eyes tell me that. So if you look at the horizon and, and, and this wingtip, uh, it should be about the same distance as the horizon and that wingtip. That's one way to tell that you're level. And also look out at the nose, at the flat end of the nose, it should be basically flat with the horizon. I want you to take your fingers, put them here, and your thumb on the throttle. I want you to bring that throttle back till I tell you to stop. Right there, leave it right where it's at. Allow that nose to come down on its own. It's going to want to start sinking because we just reduced the power. You see how the horizon outside is starting to come up and the nose is starting to come down? Uh huh. It's exactly what we want. We're transitioning from a climb to a cruise. I see. So we want to keep about this distance, nose to horizon, right there. See that from the horizon, the nose about that far. Uh huh. Our instruments tell us that we're holding altitude, but primarily this is what I want you looking at. Okay. And you know at this power setting, if you keep the nose, this, this distance from the nose to the horizon, we're going to hold our altitude. Okay. So it's just like your mom when she's driving, talking on the phone and eating at the same time, and she shouldn't be. <laughs> she does that because she's so comfortable, because she knows what everything should look like, and she's been doing it for a while. Yeah. That's what you want to develop with a plane, is looking outside, how should things look in order for me to be flying level? Yeah. or climbing or descending at the rate that I want. We're just going to practice some turns here. We'll go ahead and make a little bit of a left turn for me. Hmm. You go. Good. You Look outside as you're I'm turning watching. or banking outside. and you can see the horizon's at an angle. Your horizon is probably cutting through somewhere over here. Uh -huh. Try to keep that spot on the nose the same. Hmm. Now let's go back to level. There we go. Now as you do that, Push on the right pedal just a touch as you as you turn the yoke to the right or the left. Okay. Cool. All right. Go ahead and level the wings for me. With your feet, you can push a little bit on that right pedal as you do. We're going to roll into turn to the right. See how that nose came up on you? There uh -huh. we go. A little bit of a bank to the right. That's enough. Let's look at that horizon. It's probably closer to being off that left edge out there. Yeah. Keep it in the same spot. Keep that horizon touching that same spot. Okay. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, we're going to keep our bank angle right about there. Cool. Yeah. So that's all that we look at. So our instruments are telling us you're making a pretty nice level right turn. But we do that by looking outside. Uh-huh. Eventually, when we learn to fly on instruments, it's the opposite. We, we block out everything outside, and we only pay attention to the instruments. Yeah. 
But that's the next step after you getting your license. Yeah. Because right now, just by telling you to keep the horizon cutting through in the same spot, you're making a very, very nice level turn. Uh-huh. Remember what we did when we took off? We had the nose up high touching the horizon. Uh-huh. All right. What I want you to do is keep the wings level, and then I want you to go full throttle. I want you to push that throttle all the way forward with your thumb. Right now? Yeah, push it all the way forward. There we go. I want you to push in that right pedal a little bit and let that nose come up and touch the horizon. Keep, keep it on the horizon right where it's at. Maybe a touch lower. Cool. Push a little harder on that right pedal and hold it in. There you go. Perfect. Just push it and hold it. Cool. Awesome. Level the wings to the left a little bit. Now you're back into a climb again. Okay. This is the climb site picture. We're seeing all sky. The horizon's cutting through. Uh huh. Just like when we took off. We're gaining altitude. Our airspeed is slowed. Uh huh. But your body is already telling you that. Your eyes are telling you that. Yeah. So this is our climb site picture again. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to take the throttle and I want you to pull it back a little bit more and tell you, tell you to stop. A little more, a little more. Okay, good. Keep flying towards that peak there. That nose is going to come down. I want you to let it come down. So you let the nose just kind of come down and do what it's going to do. Okay. Keep flying me towards that peak out there. There we go. And just keep the wings level. We're seeing a lot more ocean now uh -huh. than we were before. And a lot more sky. This is called a descent. We're okay. losing altitude. We're going down. That's what we want. We reduced our power. Make sure you're not pulling back at all. Uh huh. Good. We're losing altitude. We eventually have to descend into land. So yeah. we do that by reducing the power and looking outside and increasing the distance to the nose to the horizon. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to reduce the power a touch more so we come down a bit steeper. Now that distance is going to get even bigger. And that's okay. Uh huh. Just keep me flying towards that mountain peak. So our eyes are telling us, hey, we're going down. Uh huh. And the instruments are also telling us that, but we use these only to back up what our eyes are telling us. I see. I want you to reduce the power a little bit for me like I did, like I showed you earlier. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep pulling it back. Cool. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Right about there is good. Awesome. That nose is going to get heavier. That's fine. You can just kind of let it come down on its own. Uh-huh. I'm going to do our descent checklist, make sure I rich in, car beat is off, we don't need it. Fuel's on the proper tank, close enough, we're E11 and 11. We've got our ADIS information, the altimeter is still set. Instruments are all functioning properly, and they're in the green for the engine instruments. Pre-landing, I'm going to test the brakes and the pops, the pedals. They're working. And landing light, we don't need all, probably don't need seatbelt shorts. I'm going to put my harness back on. I took it off so I didn't have more room. Let that nose come down, make sure you're not holding it back at all. Okay. Okay. I'm going to re reduce your power a little more for me. Pull it back towards you. There you go. Pull it back a little bit more. Good. Uh, make sure everybody's got their seatbelts still on. We're good back yeah. there. Excellent. And fuel pump is on. And fuel proper tank. Cool. So you see the runways out there? Uh huh. There's a big fat one on the right. Okay. And there's a little one on the left. We're going to line up with that little one on the left. Okay. Okay. I want you to bring the nose up just slightly. Right there. Cool. Keep, keep that distance, nose to horizon, for me. I'm going to give you some trim to help you keep that nose up. So, at some point in time here, I'm going to say I have the controls. This time, instead of letting go, I want you just to, to stay on the controls with me and feel what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to give okay. you some flaps so we can get down. Push forward on the yoke pretty hard. Push forward. There you go. Just push forward and hold. I'm going to give you some trim. Just keep us flying exactly how you are. Okay. Right, back to the left a little bit. If we're Good job, little, Edwin. There we go. I'm going to give us a little bit of power. Keep us going towards the runway. There we go. Okay. So I have the controls. Stay on the controls with me, though. Okay. But you just feel what, I, feel what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. And that's our landing. Okay. Okay.